All right, today we're going to learn how to make a contact sheet. Uh, every time you submit a, an assignment, you're going to need to turn in a contact sheet with all the photos that you've taken. So um, typically we want to take at least about 24 photos. So that will be a two page contact sheet. And this allows me to see kind of where you started, where you ended up and uh, the photos that you took for that project include mistakes, include the photos that are underexposed, overexposed, and just right. Uh, the ones that may be too blurry, uh, just go ahead and include those. They don't have to all be good photos. So what I've done, I've just selected about 32 photos here uh, that we'll throw into a contact sheet. Uh, we're going to want to highlight all of them. So if we press Command A, that will highlight all of our photos. We're going to go up to the top here to print and uh, it will probably look a little something like this uh, your template browser you're going to uh, press that down arrow and we're going to go down to four by five contact sheet that's going to give us our start we're going to have to make quite a few changes and then we're going to save a new template so we only have to do this once so over on the right side uh, we're going to go down here we're going to click on stroke border we're going to press this uh, click on this black rectangle and choose white and then down here for our size we're going to change that to 0.5 we're going to keep going down uh, under margins for bottom we're going to change this to one inch we're going to change our page grid to four rows and three columns cell spacing uh, our vertical we're going to change to 0.15 leave all of this as is um, we don't need to do show guides. We're going to go to page background color, put a check mark there, click on the white rectangle and change that to black. We're going to click on identity plate and we're going to click this down arrow here and we're going to go to edit. And if my last name, uh, I'm going to put my name here. So actually first name, last name, so Jeff Jones. I'm going to change this to 18 and I'm going to press OK. It says Jeff Jones there. And actually what you're going to want to do uh, when we're in there at edit, you want to save this. So click here and go to save as and I'll call that Jones and hit OK. We're going to change the scale. Actually, it's right in the middle here. We're going to bring this down to the right. We're going to change the scale to 15%. Actually, let's go ahead and make it 12%. And we're going to move this down to the bottom right-hand corner. Okay, and that can go down to where it's almost touching uh, the edge of the black box down there. Don't go past it, but go right up to that edge and not quite all the way. Leave some space on the right side as well. And we're going to keep going down and we're going to click on photo info and you're going to change file name to exposure. And we're going to leave font size as 10. And from there, we're going to click on JPEG file. We're going to use a print resolution or file resolution of 150. And we'll leave everything as is. Okay, once you've made all of these settings uh, and we're ready to print, before we do that, we want to go ahead and save this template so that we don't have to do this all again. So we're going to go over here to the template browser, click on the plus, we'll name this and we can call it contact sheet three by four save that in user templates click on create and now when you go down user templates you'll have your saved contact sheets in there after that we'll click print to file we're going to save it as our last name first name so if my name was jeff jones i put that there I'm going to save it in my downloads. You would save it to your photo 22 folder, 2022 folder on OneDrive. I would make a folder within that titled contact sheets. Uh, then uh, if you want to tag it and name it, you can do that. That'll help you find different things. Click on save. 
and that will save it to the folder. We'll go check to make sure that it looks okay. And get it downloads. Um, oh, we did it three separate files. So now we have three pages in there, and um, you can see that we've got my name at the bottom and my files. You go to a full page one, and everything looks good. So that's our contact sheet, and you'd go ahead and upload these into uh, whatever project you're submitting in Canvas or however else we're submitting it, and you should be good to go. Hope this helps.